Hello people, I've just got an order through from IndieSense over in Canada, I believe. Uh, this is the first thing I'm going to show you from Lucy B. comes in a clear plastic, um, you wouldn't really call it a box, would you? I don't know. Um, anyway, let's take it out. So that's the box itself. It's a little bit cheap, but I love the pretty card in there. This one is called Tiara Coconut Eau de Parfum. It's a really nice bottle. I love that blue flower that's on the back. There. So ever so pretty. Gold lid. Take that off. That's the atomizer. Let's give it a little spray. The first time me smelling it. <laughs> um, it's a bit soapy actually. On first whiff, I'm not completely loving it. It's not exactly how I imagined it. Obviously, that can change. We'll see how that um, goes down, shall we say? The other item that I got is something else I can't unbox because it's not in a box. It comes in this suede type pouch, Unforsaken by Kerosene. So let's get it out of its little bag. Oh, let's do this slowly, just for those people that enjoy these things. So, ooh, there's a black lid. And then slowly rolling it down. Oh, baby. We're unclothing it, really, aren't we? <laughs> it's actually quite difficult to peel this down. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. Ooh, wow, that is a bottle and a half. I love it. Absolutely love it. So, I've already put my paw print on it now. Unforsaken by Kerosene. Nice, heavy duty, metallic, sparkly, like almost like a marble kind of bottle. Do. I love this fragrance. I've bought it to split, so 70 mils is going off to my English fragrant friends. I know how it smells, but I'm gonna give it a quick spritz anyway. Oh yeah. That's how I remember it. That first blast I'm not totally in love with is what happens sort of 10-15 minutes in. And then onwards throughout that I love. It's quite bitter in the opening. But then it gets really sweet and beautiful. So I've done um, a review on that. Which you can find if you can be bothered. But that is Unforsaken by Kerosene. They also sent me at Indie Sense tons of samples. I'm really, really pleased. Um, Imaginary Authors, Orchidea Terrible. I've smelt that before and it's not something that I particularly like. Tokyo Milk and it's Honey and the Moon. That's one I asked for. That, initially very honey-like, like not my favourite type of honey either, but when that developed on my wrist, it now smells like Aqua Zucchero. So I'm pretty impressed with that one. Uh, this is Unknown Pleasures by Kerosene. I've smelt that before. And um, we've got Cherry Bomb Killer <laughs> Rebel Angel Eau de Parfum. I've sprayed that onto a, a packing peanut, believe it or not. Very wheaty, chocolatey type scent. And then we've got uh, the Lucy B Royal Egyptian Amber and Honey. Oh, sorry, Amber and Honey Suckle. I sprayed this on, a, on a, one of these. And this is very nice. If you like honeysuckle, then you're gonna like it. It's nothing amazing, nothing um, super exciting, but it's quite pretty. Um, this one I've not heard of or seen before. Mick Moy or Mick Moi, Lingua Franco. And I sprayed that on here. And I get like pure orange essential oil with incense at the moment. And then finally, 
and got Lucy Beer again and this one is Royal Water Lotus Vanilla Musk. I sprayed it onto another packing peanut but it's not very strong. It's like a sweet, almost like a white musk at the moment but that's obviously, um, maybe I didn't spray enough. But anyway, so they were very generous with the samples. The um, tax, I didn't get charged any extra tax, which was great because I was worried about that. So all in all, really good experience. My first order from Indie Sense. Thank you for listening and watching.